Again, welcome to CS101, Introduction to Programming Using Python. This lab work covers chapter two of our course textbook. Our main objective is to write a Python code to display information, to find the sales prediction, and also for land calculations. So again, in our lectures, we said in Python, we use the print statement to print an information on a screen. Again, this is a console application. So yeah, they say we should write a program that displays the following information, your name, address with city, state, and zip code. Also your telephone number and your college major. So we are going to use the print statement to print our name, which is Jack Shepard. Our address is 123 Lost Lane. The city is Boston. Zip code, telephone number, and also computer science is our major. So again, the lectures in console application, Python, we use the print statement to print information on our screen. Now, the information we are printing is in strings, so it's in double quotations. Next, we are going to write our program to for a sales prediction. Here we see a company has determined that its annual profit is typically 23% of total sales. Write a program that asks the user to enter the projected amount of total sales, then display the profit that will be made from that amount. Now here, we're going to use 0 0.23 to represent the 23%. So here we have a variable, and here we need two inputs, which will be the total sales and also the profit that the company will make based on the total sales that the user will enter. So we have a variable to hold the sales total and also the profit. In Python, we don't need to declare the data type of the variable. So here we have a variable sales total, initialize it to zero, the profit also we initialize it to zero. So our input that we need is the sales total. So here we get the amount of projected sales. We use the input function. The input function allows us to use the keyboard to enter an input. And the instruction that we are going to get will be enter the projected cells. And the data type will be float. Now we know that the input function, when we use it to get an input, the data type will be string. And we cannot use strings in arithmetic operations. So we need to change it either to int or to float. Int means a whole number, uh, number, and float means again a decimal number. So after we use the input function to get the input, next we calculate the profit. So the profit is 23% of the sales total. So it will be sales total times 0 0.23. Then we are going to print our result. So we use the print statement and we said the projected profit is the profit amount and we use the format function. This function allows us to format our result. So here we have 0.2F, which means two decimal places. 0.2F means, uh, F means float uh, 0.2. And we can see that the projected profit is, is in the double quotation. So it's a string which you print. When we are printing the content of a variable, it will not be on double quotation. So here we can see the format profit is not in the double quotation. Now let's see our last example, which is land calculations. Here we have one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. So we are going to write a program that will ask the user to enter the total square feet in a track of a land and calculate the number of acres in the track. Now, remember here, they gave us that one acre of a land is equivalent to 43,560. So we can divide the amount entered by 43,560 to get the number of acres. So we have two variables, one variable to hold the size of the track and also the number of acres for the second variable. Now here we have a constant variable here 
which will represent the 43,560. And it's called the square feet per acres. Anytime we declare a constant variable, we have to initialize it. Now, next, we ask the user to enter the number of square feet in the tract. So user enter it. Then next, we calculate the acreage. So here we know that when we get the track size, we didn't convert it here to float or int. So we came here to convert it in the formula. So here we have the float track size. The reason why, again, if we use the input function, the data we enter is in string and we cannot use strings in arithmetic operations. So we convert it to either int or float. In this case, we convert it to float, which means a decimal number. So we divided the track size by the square feet per acres, which was given to us as 43,560. Then next we print our results. So here we say the size of that track is and whatever the acres formula gives us, the acres is the size we enter, the track size we enter divided by square feet per acres, which is 43,560. And also we are using the format function here to convert it to two decimal places, which would be our answer. So we have format acres and 0.2F, two decimal places. So that will be the conclusion of our first lab work on chapter three of uh, chapter two of our course textbook. Thank you.